Who are you? Hey, I'm Sam Shank of Hotel Tonight. Hotel Tonight? What is, well, I, that sort of hints what we're talking about. Yeah, hotels. yeah. We, uh, we don't have to explain what we do very often. Um, so we book hotels for tonight. Um, we sell distressed inventory that the hotels wouldn't otherwise sell um, at a deal through our mobile app and make it really convenient and simple to book. What do you mean by distressed inventory? <laughs> that's distressed like... inventory, yeah, that's a, it's, it's uh, rooms that would otherwise not sell. So um, distressed would be one word or um, you know, just uh, available inventory would be maybe a better way to say it. Yeah. Um, they're regular rooms that you would get if you booked uh, through the hotel website or booked in advance. We're getting, giving you the same access to the same rooms. And in fact, sometimes users get, update, uh, get upgraded um, when uh, they check in because if there's a suite that's available, um, might as well put somebody in it and so they can have an extra good experience. Does this work, uh, what, only in the United States or worldwide or what? So we launched in the United States. We launched about 18 months ago here in New York, San Francisco, and LA. We've added about 45 cities in the US since then, adding about a city every two weeks. And then we just launched a London office about um, a month ago. And we opened in London right in time for the Olympics. And we've got a lot of great inventory right now during the Olympics. And we'll be using that to expand throughout Europe. Um, but we've got our eyes on you know, cool, international, I international domination and I just, what domination. So. I just found out I might be at the uh, closing ceremonies. I don't have a hotel yet. So. Well, then now you do. <laughs> and, and now your shtick is hotel tonight. How far in advance can I buy a hotel room? So like next weekend, I might be in London. Can I do that? Or do I have to wait until next it's weekend it's where I'm stuck in? Same day only. Yeah. Same so day only. Okay. We focus on on-demand hotels for that last minute need. So when you find yourself somewhere you didn't expect to be and you have to get a place to stay. Yeah. Um, the other half of the, so that's about half of the, the people that book through hotel tonight. The other half are people that realize that, hey, there's a great deal. Um, it's really convenient to book. I was going to go home or I was going to stay at home, but because of the convenience of hotel tonight and the value of these great hotels are providing I'm gonna stay in a hotel uh, so we're growing the market that way and that's uh, we call those impulse bookers it's a really interesting part of the market so it's, it, I, I bet you have two different common use cases right one is uh, the frequent traveler who got stuck in Chicago because there's a big snowstorm and has to find a hotel near the airport uh, because they ain't taken off <laughs> And the other use case is, uh, you know, you go to San Francisco, you go out to dinner, you start drinking a little bit, and you go, oh shit, I can't drive home. Uh, now either I have to pay $100 for a taxi fee ride home, or uh, let's look around for a place to stay tonight and sleep it off. Yeah, you got it. I mean, you know, yeah. that, those are very specific uh, use cases of the, the two broad contingencies that we serve. The people that have to find a place to stay tonight and the people who want to find a place to stay tonight because they can turn sort of an average night into one of the best nights of the year. Yep. Um, so what, what, what's the magic sauce? What, what do you do that uh, I can't do on other hotel booking services, you know, like Hipmunk or whatnot? Yeah, so um, one of the main things that we do is that... Um, you might show it to me. Yeah, so. let's take a look so let's look at Chicago right now one of the main thing differences you'll see as you get into hotel tonight is that we only show a small selection of hotels so yeah. in Chicago there's three hotels right now um, in return for that what you get is great hotels that we personally vetted so we personally curated this list of hotels and inspected them to make sure that they're of high standards so you don't have to do a lot of research you don't have to go through a huge list of hotels yep. um, and then we also um, provide exclusive deals for this inventory so the hotels are competing yeah, for these deal. three spots any night in Chicago we might have 20 25 hotels that are providing us inventory the uh, the system on the back end uh, has these hotels sort of compete for these spots compete for that shelf space so only the three best deals will show up on the app Got it. Um, one of the other differences you'll see is that the merchandising um, and the you know, sort of the, uh, the, the photo quality um, of how we portray these hotels is very high end. Um, yeah. We actually send our own photographers there. You can get a real feel for what the mood of the hotel's like, what it looks like with people there. Um, we write our own content about the hotel and stuff that's really important for the last minute traveler. Stuff like you know, how late room service is open, you know, how late the bar is open, does a hotel have a mini bar, yeah. uh, things that are very practical and useful when you're checking in at the last minute. That's and then, awesome. And then probably the, the most um, uh, novel element of what we've done and what we built from the ground up um, for was to be able to do really quick hotel booking. So you can book a hotel in, in eight seconds. Uh, that's from opening the app until you get your purchase confirmation. You can check in right after that and be in your room in just a few minutes. So at the last minute and in, in, in mobile, we think it's about speed, it's about efficiency, it's about getting 
out of the app and on with the rest of what you were doing or into your hotel room or on with your night or your evening. Yeah. Um, and that eight second booking is really important as a differentiator for us. How do you do it so fast? Uh, well, we save the payment information, we save the profile information. So I'm gonna switch over to yeah. our, I don't actually need a hotel tonight, so I'm gonna switch over to our, our uh, uh, development uh, account here. I'm yeah. gonna show you how quickly it works. Um, let's go to, same in Atlantic City. And I wanted to book a resorts Atlantic City hotel. Yep. Book a room. All my payment information here is saved. Review the purchase. The Wi-Fi here sucks. And can I blame it on your, your Wi-Fi? We have this one last screen, which is sort of a captcha to make sure that people really want to book the hotel. Um, we found that people were booking accidentally because we didn't add this screen. So we added yep. one more screen and you trace the uh, HBED logo and you're ready to check in right after this. So, on a fast Wi-Fi connection, this works in sub 10 seconds. Yep. Oh, here we go, now we're, now we're good to go. Cool. That's awesome. We Very fast. It. Do you do a uh, hook up to Uber so a cab picks me up? And no, it's a logical connection, yeah. <laughs> no, you're, They're not in every city you are yet. But, no, uh, no, but we, we do share an overlap. And, and we, Lyft. The, here in San Francisco, there's Lyft and Uber. And in London, there's uh, Helio. Helio, yeah. Helio. Yeah. And, yeah, so there's lots of ways to get to the hotel with other apps. But uh, yeah, I we just interviewed the CEO of uh, Lyft, which is a uh, building out here in San Francisco. A lot of fun. Yeah, it's uh, that's a great space, and, and we share a lot of uh, mutual love for each other's businesses. So it'd be great to, to work together on you know, that logistics of how do you get to the hotel. Yeah. Um, how do you guys get paid for this? So we take a commission from the hotel room. Yeah. It's about twenty percent. That's industry standard. Um, we're not doing anything different. There's no cost to the user. And from a hotel perspective, again, it's incremental bookings is what they're seeing. Yeah. Um, so that twenty percent is a, a very reasonable amount for a room that would otherwise go unsold. No, that's true because that. You know, when you run a hotel, if that room goes unsold, they get nothing, that's right? right? That's right. And here you're helping them fill a bed, a uh, room, at the last minute, which would have gone otherwise um, empty, and, and that helps them pay their staff. Yeah, that's the, that perishable inventory problem um, that, that we can solve for the hotel. Can you use this uh, model for other things, or is, is hotels pretty much the only model that it, that it would work for? Well, it's a little hard with the name Hotel Tonight to yeah. do much more. No, no, so but we, uh, yeah. you could take the code and make another stick, yeah. you know, another app for other contexts. We, we We've learned a lot about you know how to work with perishable inventory, how to match that with consumers that would otherwise not purchase anything um, at the last minute through mobile devices. So that's something that you know we, we have within the... Um, repertoire of where we can go next. Um, yeah. So we haven't decided, we don't make long-term plans as a business, we're sort of a last minute uh, hotel provider in general, so that's in our DNA, um, but we have a lot of directions that we could go. Yeah, you got a, uh, good ratings on the iTunes store, what's the tr secret to doing that? You know, it's, it's, we worked on it very hard. So when we launched, we didn't have good, good ratings or as good as we wanted. We were, you know, I think 3.9 or something, and we made it a goal of the company to increase our ratings. So, you know, one of the, the big observations that we had is that people aren't just rating the app. They're not rating the code. They're not rating the visual, so that's important. They're rating the entire experience of using Hotel Tonight. And in that sense, they're, they're rating their stay. Um, and so for that reason, we only work with great hotels. We monitor guest satisfaction at those hotels through the app. We collect a rating afterwards. And if a hotel isn't good enough, we'll stop working with that hotel. We've stopped, work with about, stopped working with about 10 hotels that just weren't of the quality that we were looking for. Um, and then we also have our own customer support. And they're a really good customer support team that works really hard to make guests satisfied and, 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 and improve customer satisfaction. Um, there's actually within the app, you can do a live chat with a support operator. Um, so it's uh, something that we pioneered and um, we work, uh, you know, the, the support team, because we have them in house, are able to do those things. So because of all of that, you know, I think the guest satisfaction ratings of the entire stay and the entire experience is higher than you would find on a, a typical hotel booking experience. Awesome. Uh, it's a free app. Uh, you get it just by searching for Hotel Tonight in the iTunes store. That's right. Anything else we need to know about it? Um, uh, we're adding more cities all the time. So if yeah. you don't see where you're, you want to stay tonight, you know, check back in, uh, in a few weeks or a few months and Hazar will have it. Very cool. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Here Hotel you go. tonight. Hotel tonight.